Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video presentation by the Adams County Historical Society. My name is Larry Korczyk. I'm a licensed battlefield guide here at Gettysburg National Military Park and a member of the Adams County Historical Society. So if you like what you see, push that uh, subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen to see more videos uh, presented by the Adams County Historical Society. Just now, we are standing in the position of the 69th Pennsylvania uh, Volunteer Infantry Regiment here on Cemetery Ridge. To my immediate right, left is the famous Copes of Trees. Um, battlefield lore tells us that the Confederate Infantry, for their famous charge on July 3rd, known as Pickett's Charge, will use this Copes of Trees to uh, direct their attack upon the Union Center and upon the men from the 69th Pennsylvania. As you see today, it's the only regimental monument that has markers for each and every company of the men of the 69th Pennsylvania. But they'll be in position here during the uh, vortex of Pickett's Charge on July 3rd. And at a given time, both of their flanks, their left flank and their right flank, will be turned with Confederate soldiers surging past them on their right and left. Uh, they're moving upon, perhaps, a Union battery just to the left rear of the 69th PA. That's Andrew Callan and his guns. And at one point, he is firing double canister at 10 yards upon these advancing Confederate soldiers. And apparently, at one point, one of the officers in the 69th PA, a captain, had gotten a little spooked. Okay, he ran like a turkey, they said, to the rear. Corporal Plunkett, an officer within the ranks of Andrew Cowan's battery, near him was raging mad and swore at the retreating captain like a pirate. At one point, he, I, he picked up a coffee pot from the ground by the handle and smashed it over the head of this retreating Union captain of the 69th PA, and apparently the bottom broke out, but the fellow went on running with the tin pot down past his ears. I can still see that fellow running away with the coffee pot down over his ears, one Union officer would write. But eventually, the Union line will be stabilized in here with the reinforcements of General Harrell and Colonel Hall's brigade rushing to the north to reinforce the men of the 69th Pennsylvania, but these men are almost virtually destroyed here on July 3rd. Their commanding officer, Colonel O'Kane, is killed in the battle, as are many of the men of the men of the men of the 69th PA. So thank you for tuning in, and don't forget, push that subscribe button down at the bottom.